Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Ho Yifen and Wang Yongguo. This is a game from the Chinese League, played in Beijing in 2012. Ho Yifen had white pieces and she started with e4. Wang Yongguo played c5, the Sicilian defense, knight to c3, knight to c6, and now bishop to b5. g6. Bishop takes knight on c6, d takes on c6, d3, bishop to g7, bishop to e3 attacking the pawn on c5, defending, queen to d2 intending to castle queen side, knight to f6, white to move, bishop to h6, offering to trade dark squared bishops, bishop takes on h6, queen takes bishop, Knight to g4 attacking the queen. Queen to d2. The queen is back. The mission accomplished. With dark squared bishop of the board, black will have problems on the dark squares, especially if he castles king's side. The game continued. e5, h3 kicking the knight back. Knight to f6, f4. Pawn takes pawn on f4. Queen takes on f4. Bishop to e6, knight to f3, knight to d7, Ho Yifen castles queen's side, black to move, Wang Yongguo castles king's side, let's take it back. If queen to f6 offering to trade queens, then queen to d6 is unpleasant. If rook to c8, e5, white is standing better. If queen to e7, White may play knight to e4 or d4. White is standing better. Back to our game. So we have castling king's side. d4 intending to open the d file. c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, rook to c8, e5 intending knight to e4 in some variations. Queen to e7. Knight to e4, and now f5, attacking the knight. Should white play pawn takes pawn and passan or not? Ho Yifen did. Pawn takes pawn and passan. Knight to f6. And now comes the best part of the game. Ho Yifen played knight to d6, attacking the rook. But Wan Yongu continued with knight to g4, threatening to capture the queen and in some variations intending knight to f2, forking two rooks. White to move. How would you continue? Perhaps queen to g3 comes to mind. Do you agree? Perhaps this move was expected, but there was a surprise. Knight takes rook was split, attacking the black queen. Bishop takes knight. Let's take it back. If rook takes on f4, one line goes like this. Knight takes on e7, check, king to f7. Knight takes bishop on e6, king takes knight. Rook from h to e1, check, king to f6, h takes on g4. White is winning back to our game. Bishop takes on c8 was played. White to move. Perhaps white should play queen to g3 now. What do you think? The queen didn't move. Ho Yifen played. Knight takes on c6, attacking the black queen again. Queen to c5. Let's take it back. If rook takes queen, the knight takes on e7 check, and after king to g7, knight takes bishop, and white is winning. Back to our game. Queen to c5. White to move. Should white move the queen now? Ho oh, Yifen played rook to d8. The white queen loves to stay on f4, provoking the black rook. Rook takes rook for split. What else? If queen takes on c6, then a queen takes rook checkmate. Rook takes rook. Knight takes rook. Bishop to f5, threatening queen takes on c2 checkmate. No joking. Queen to d2, defending the king. Knight to e5, rook to e1, 
Black to move, bishop takes and c2 was played. How would you continue now if you had white pieces? Who even played? Knight to e6. So let's take it back. If queen takes on c2, one line goes like this. Knight to d3, check. King to d2, queen takes, queen, check. King takes, queen. Knight takes, rook, check. King to c3, knight takes on g2. And black is better. Back to our game. So, who even played? Knight to e6, attacking the black queen. Queen to c4. What now? Black is threatening discovered check in some variations, and in some variations black is threatening knight to e6 check. Who even played the queen to d8 check? King to f7. White played a move and black resigned and the move is queen to f8 check. Wan Yongguo resigned. For the entertainment purpose I will show you just one line. King takes knight. Queen to e8 check, then king to d5, queen takes on e5 check, king to c6, queen to e8 check, king to b7, queen to e6, queen to c7, queen to e7, bishop to a4 check, queen takes queen check, king takes queen, rook to e7 check, king to d6, rook takes on a7, white has more pawns, and the black bishop would have no chance against the white rook in the endgame. I guess we can stop here. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.